Hello, 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 hello. That was my hello song. I'm putting my mirror like right here for you guys because I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and answering some questions that you guys sent to me via Twitter. So I'm just gonna sit here and I just wanted to do a chatty video. I do a lot of videos like this over on my vlog channel, but I don't get to like just sit down and chat with you guys over here. So I'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys, but at the same time, I'm gonna do my makeup for the day. It is about 10.25 a.m. here in Los Angeles on a Sunday and I need to get ready for the day. So I'm gonna sit here and chat with you guys while I do it. And I have my coffee here as well. It's a little bit cold now though, but still good. So I just have my hair up in this crazy little messy bun. I'm just gonna throw it up like this because whenever I do my makeup, I want my hair out of my face. To prime my face here, I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm just using a tiny bit of this. I usually use the Smashbox primer oil, which I've talked about plenty of times with you guys. I love that. This is super dry compared to that. This is oil free and that is just pretty much oil going on your face, which I love because as you guys know, I love oil. But um, yeah, I'm trying that out. I love that it's pore minimizing. So that's really important to me right now. I haven't had a facial or any type of like extractions in a long time. So I do see pores filling up like on my nose and stuff. So I need to go in for a facial very soon for someone to just like help me clear all of these pores. I'm just gonna kinda dab some of this Beauty Counter Lip Conditioner on my lips right now because I feel dry. And then we'll go in later on and do the actual lips. Now I'm going to go in with foundation and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. When I first got this, I didn't like it. I was using the Too Faced Born This Way. I tried this out and I was like, mm. I'm gonna stick with Too Faced Born this way because I love it. And now, as you can see, this is pretty much empty because I gave it a second chance and now I'm having to get the foundation out like this because I have absolutely none left. This is empty, it won't come out from the top, like it just won't squirt out because there's just not enough. So I just like open it like that and I'm just getting every last drop of this stuff. I'm using the color Fair Pale, which is really interesting because I'm not usually that light, um, but recently I am. And when I got this, I must have been pretty light at that time. I think I got it around winter time. Um, but yeah, I didn't like it at first and then gave it a second chance when I ran out of my uh, Too Faced Born This Way. This next product that I'm using is another one that's pretty much almost gone. Look at this. I'm like having to put my finger in here to get any product out, but there's still stuff in there. Gotta use it all the way up. This is the Beauty Counter Color Pinch Cream Blusher. I've been using this for a bit since probably last summer and um, it's just a cream blush that I like to put on my lips and I like to put on my cheeks. It just gives you a really nice, just like natural looking flush. And I really love cream blushes so much. And the texture of this is so nice. It just feels really good and moisturizing on your cheeks. And I just really love anything that moisturizes my skin. It makes it feel like I don't know, like I just drank up a bunch of water. And the color of it is just fabulous. Totally forgot to put this on at the beginning, but it's totally, ooh, this stuff just came out. I totally forgot to put this on at the beginning before I did my foundation. That's when I normally put it on, but I doesn't matter. You could just put it under your eyes afterwards, I guess, because I want to. This is the Origins Ginseng Under Eye Cream, and ooh, this stuff is so nice. It has caffeine in it. I've talked about this in a favorites video before. This just makes me instantly look awake. It has this beautiful pearl color that just really brightens your under eye, and I love it a lot. This next question is from Emily Landera, and she said, favorite piece of clothing to wear? That would have to be a button-up, like a light button-up shirt. Um, it could be just worn in so many different ways. I don't even know what I'm doing with this brush anymore. Sometimes when I'm talking, I'm like not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I was literally just going like this, which I do sometimes, but I don't need to do right now. What should we do next, guys? Let's do highlight. I'm going way out of order. I just like am not that great at multitasking, um, but you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna put some highlight on the top of my cheeks here. Anyways, yeah, I just love a button up. I just think they're great. They can be worn in so many ways. You can tie it at the waist to make it like look a little bit form fitting. You can wear it open with the buttons undone, just like over a cute little crop top. You can wear it totally buttoned up and then tucked into the front of some high-waisted jeans. 
It's just so versatile, so many options. I have so many button ups and I just love them. I wear them all the time. They're so comfy. I feel great in them. They're my jam. This is the Becca Cream Highlighter in Opal. I really wanted to use this today, one of these Casey Holmes Smashbox collaborations. Um, but I have decided once I set them down on my vanity, I was like, you know what? I am going to wait to show you guys these in a video coming up because I think I'm going to do an unboxing because I have a ton of new makeup that I got sent to me and that I purchased. I am going to use this mascara that I've never used before that I kind of wanted to use in my unboxing, but I just can't wait to try it. Just looks really nice. It's from Ico. And so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this guy and I'll probably talk about it again in one of my upcoming videos because I definitely wanna do an unboxing with all of this stuff. So I'm gonna skip out on showing you guys this, but you can look forward to me trying it on camera very soon. The colors look beautiful and I'm really excited to try them out. Now we're gonna do some brows. This is the Benefit Brow Mousse. It is pretty much done. I have hit the pan on this guy. Every single product that I've showed you guys in this video, I'm almost done with. At least you guys know that I'm showing you things that I absolutely love. And these are not products that I've never showed you guys before. But yeah, I'm just going to use this guy on my brows. And I just love, love, love this stuff. I love the consistency. I love the texture. It just really helps me with my brows so much. And this is the Tarte eyebrow brush. Um, I don't know if they have more than one option, but this is the one that I have and I really love this a lot. Kieran asks, what is the best decision you have ever made? The best decision I've ever made was moving out to Los Angeles. And I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but I graduated high school a year early. I did my junior and senior year in the same year. So I was going to junior year, but then I would do adult education classes after school. So I was taking my senior classes after school. And pretty much long story short, I went and talked to my counselor and I was just like, hey, I... I'm gonna be curling my lashes while I talk to you guys about this. Um, I told him that I was really wanting to graduate early because I knew one other person in school that was doing that and I thought it was really cool. And it wasn't that I didn't like high school. I actually really loved high school. I was on cheer. I had a great group of friends that are still my friends today, but I just wanted to get out and I wanted to move to California. I have always wanted to live in Southern California. My dad used to take me out here all the time when I was young. He would teach me how to surf and he just took me to the beach all the time because my family is originally from Manhattan Beach. My brother was born in Manhattan Beach and we had a house on the Strand back in the day in the 80s. And um, But I was born in Arizona then moved to Henderson, Nevada. So I wasn't born in California but I definitely had California roots and my dad's side of the family all live in Santa Barbara and live in Southern California. So. I just always had a calling for California. It's where I belonged and I wanted to get to as soon as possible. And I really wanted to start my life. Like my junior year, I was just like, I just need to start life. I can't be here for another year. I can't do this. I need to live alone. I need to experience life. I was just so ready. And so I talked to my counselor and was just like, can I do this? So he helped me figure out how to get it all done. And um, I'm gonna use my fingers because I do not have an eyeshadow brush around me right now and I just don't care at this point. So fingers it is. Um, I'm using Luscious in the Sweet Peach palette and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I graduated high school a year early and I moved out to LA, started going to FIDM. I was in student housing um, for my first year and I, yeah, just like really, really loved living in California. It was scary at first because I was 18 years old living in a city all by myself and didn't know anybody in this town. Um, but it was the best decision I've ever made. It led me to where I am today. It also taught me to be an adult really quickly. I remember my cheer coach at the time saying to me, and we were on a bus going to a game and I was telling her about how I'm thinking about graduating a year early and she was like, that is not a good choice. Do not do that. You're gonna regret it so much. Like you're gonna be on varsity cheer next year. It's gonna be so fun with all of your friends. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But like, should I stay another year just because of varsity cheerleading? Like, or should I just start my life because I feel like it's the right thing. And in my gut, it sounds scary, but I'm 
but it's what I really want to do. And um, so I didn't take her advice. In high school, she was like a super cool person to me and I just really um, valued her thoughts, but I just knew in my heart of hearts, like I gotta do what I wanna do and I did. And it was the best decision I've ever made because I got to go to FIDM, I got to learn about myself, I got to live in a city all by myself. I really am who I am today because I got out of Henderson so young and I really um, came into my own and I had lots of experiences. I did all of these things that really like brought me to where I am today and to the person that I am today. So I don't know, just something to think about when there's something that you really want to do in life but other people are telling you maybe you shouldn't do that or they think that your thoughts are kind of crazy and that you should just kind of stick to what you know and continue going on. Um, don't take that. Like, do what you want to do. And if you know in your gut that that's what you want to do, even if it doesn't work out, it's still worth it to give it a try. My mom was really supportive in the decision. She never questioned it. Like I told her what I wanted to do and she was like, okay, this is what you really want to do. And I was like, yes, this is what I really want to do. And she was like, let's figure out how to get it done. So it was cool to have my mom on my side, but everybody else was kind of like, are you sure? Why, really? No. And I was like, all right, people, shush. This is the moment of truth with this mascara that I've never used before and actually know nothing about but I really love the way that the brush looks and I, when I opened it up, the consistency looked really nice. So I was excited to try it. And so far guys, it's really nice. I really love mascaras that just give you enough product. Like don't, I hate clumping. I hate clumped up br uh, brows. I hate clumped up lashes. So this is really nice because it just darkens my lashes enough and elongates it enough. Mid mascara application. I just got really hungry. This is an everything bagel with butter because I'm out of cream cheese. I'm using a bit of this eyebrow mousse and I'm actually going to put it under my eyes here as eyeliner because it works just like eyeliner does. And I'm just putting it there. Oops, I just kind of poked myself in the eyeball. Um, but I'm just putting a little bit of color here. I don't want to do like a winged liner or anything crazy today because I'm honestly just going to lunch with my brother, my dad, and Alex. Um, it's the first time that Alex is going to meet my dad, so that's going to be cool. And so I don't need to be like crazy overdone. I just am having a casual day today. And really this video wasn't about me doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. It was just me getting ready for the day with you guys and chatting with you. And I really like this type of video for this channel because it definitely feels like one of my vlog videos where it's more casual and just sitting down and chatting with you guys. And I like that. And that's why I really, really love my vlog channel because it feels like that. So I'm gonna try to bring as much of that as I can onto this channel without doing actual like vlogs of my week, but like doing sit down chatty more like connecting with you guys types of videos. I have been 100% obsessed with this Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. It gives this tingling sensation to my lips that like, oh, I just love. That is it for my makeup look today. I'm going to go take my hair out of this bun and go do something with it. So I'm gonna let you guys go here. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you liked this type of video, if you want me to do more like this, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more like this. Make sure that you are subscribed if you are not already and I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you very soon and I will see some of you at Playlist Live Orlando on May 5th. I'm heading out there on a plane and I'm going across the country to Florida and and I'm hoping that I meet some of you guys there. I'm going to be doing a meetup. I'm going to be on a panel and I'm going to be walking around chatting and talking with you guys. So I really hope to meet some of you guys there. If you are going, let me know in the comments. And if you're not going, let me know in the comments where it would be a cool place for me to do a meetup. Because I'm always wanting to do meetups. I'm always traveling. And I'm curious where all of you guys are from and where you guys would like me to do a meetup in the future. So yeah, comment that below and I will see you guys very soon in a new video.